started here is a shift into the, the actual testing methods to talk about. And if you remember, um, our first subject that we talked about was a development set of steps and that this first step was evaluating the media efficiency. And this is a, a typical way. There are many other ways to evaluate flat sheet media. And this particular machine has a flat surface here. You can notice this, this element here can be raised and lowered and the media piece of media is left on this hole through the table. It stays flat during the application of it. The top is lowered back down and then the, the same premise as all the other testing we talked about, an upstream challenge, uh, a, an upstream measurement and a downstream measurement of the particles occurs and it's an easy way to evaluate material and the trick here is to evaluate it at the right speed so the calculation of how quickly you run the air through this material it becomes a critical aspect in the quality of the number you achieve in other words if you test at a speed that is significantly different than the actual use of the material in a finished filter you'll get a efficiency number that is not comparable to the actual compare the actual efficiency of the finished filter the technique is just to calculate what's called media velocity versus phase velocity it's another step that we can talk about we probably should add to a, a future element here but the key here is to test at what's called media velocity once that's done you can make a direct comparison to this test versus the finished filter construction efficiency outcome. And it's become very accurate, uh, very predictable. And uh, uh, this is an inexpensive, quick test. And it's a great way to screen all the media potential candidates you have for a finished filter. There are much smaller versions of this available on the market today. Uh, in fact, that's what's used on the uh, face mask testing is a much smaller version of this. Uh, many of the big manufacturers produce uh, devices that can measure different challenge constituents, for instance, oil or salt, or different kinds of salt. Again, this is a screening tool and it's a great way of evaluating whether you should continue on with the development of this media into a finished product. You notice my little key here. To me, this is the most important step. You can spending the right amount of time and effort here at this level changes the success rate of your project dramatically.